it grows right off the trunk. The fruit does. And inside, there's the flower. This is the glory of chocolate. Look at the different colors there. Inside, we see this. These are the cacao nuts or the beans or the nut that all chocolate is made out of inside. And around each nut is a white pulp. And that pulp was traditionally in Amazonia and Central America where chocolate is from. It was only eaten by women. But men ate the nut on the inside. This is what that pulp looks like. That's what we call the best day ever. When you have that much chocolate, real chocolate, original chocolate, raw chocolate, the fruit, the nut, the pulp, everything. But you've got to watch out because all the creatures in the forest eat it. And in fact, it is known that if you have a forest with 140 species of different birds, that when you put a cacao orchard in and you put it right into the jungle, no trees are taken out, nothing is cut down. You take your little baby cacao plants or chocolate trees, you put them right in the forest, and that will attract at least 40 more species of birds. Birds love to hang out in chocolate trees. It comes back to this, the coin of the realm, the great cacao bean, the secret. Inside, we had an amazing discovery early on in that that cacao bean, the thing that all chocolate is made out of, is the highest antioxidant food in the world. This was a discovery. This was not known 10 years ago. It is known now. Chocolate contains 15 times the amount of antioxidants as wild blueberries. 20 times the antioxidants is what's in green tea. 30 times the antioxidants as red wine. All of those pigments of color that are captured in that beautiful purple color, that's the antioxidant. It's actually the color. And the brown of chocolate is the polyphenols that protect your cells and actually protect you from aging. Listen to this. It is known now that chocolate is the number one longevity food in the world. That is known. It is the number one food for your heart, according to the research, for your heart. It's also a great way to party and have a good time without a hangover. Chocolate grows across the temperate climate, the the, what we call the tropical belt of the world, from about 20 degrees north latitude to 20 degrees south latitude in that belt. And it's originally from the Americas, Central America and Venezuela, Ecuador. Most people now believe that chocolate's originally from the Orinoco River Basin of Venezuela. That's where the Spanish first rolled into and saw tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of wild cacao trees, but no people 500 years ago. I searched all over the planet. I visited shamans, asking them what they thought about chocolate. This shaman in the Amazon told me that you can take the cacao tree bark, peel it off, soak it in ice cold water. It releases a gel in 24 hours, and when you rub that into your scalp, it cures male pattern baldness. I'm an infopreneur. My eyes went into dollar signs when I heard that. You mean there's a product that would sell more than chocolate itself that comes from the chocolate tree? And we're researching this right now. First and foremost, I'm a researcher. That's what I love to do. I love to study, research, and look into the data. Chocolate is the number one food in magnesium of any food in the world that is the number one mineral deficiency in the Western world. Also, chocolate is the highest natural source of iron, the highest natural source of manganese, and the highest natural source of chromium of any major food in the world. These are very important minerals for blood building. They're very important for stable blood sugar. And of course, magnesium de-stresses us. Could we use that? I think so. Chocolate is also extraordinarily rich in phosphorus, zinc, and copper. Zinc and copper are for healthy nervous system and phosphorus.